Okay, welcome to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 6. In Part 6, we're going to go ahead and make some health meters above our sprite objects. Okay, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, so basically what we got to do is we're, we're essentially, we're just drawing a line. Okay, and based on whether the, the player is healthy or not healthy, we're going to be changing the color and the length of that line. So, and, and the enemies, not just the player. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the sprite render method, because I want to have this for all sprites that have health. Now, it may be a little tricky because things like power-ups won't have health, but I think I know a way around that. So let's give it a shot. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give each sprite health. So self.health, and let's just make it easy, make it out of 100 and self.maxhealth equals 100. Now these should be the same. And the reason I'm using these is because let's say that as the game progresses, I might want to make the enemies stronger or if I get a power up, I want to make the player stronger so their health goes up from 100 to 200. Or if I end up putting a boss into it, the boss might have 500 health. So we really want to make this something that can be changed. And then that actual health is the current state. So once I get hit by a missile or I get hit by an enemy, my health goes down until I'm destroyed. And again, I'm just using 100 to make the numbers easy. So in my render method, I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. Now this is might not quite work out. I want to come back to this one, but what I'm going to do is so I'm going to draw a health meter. So if you remember, I mentioned that the sprites by default are 20 by 20. So we're gonna go ahead and use that in our program. Now we might wanna change that later, but just keep it consistent for now. So I'm gonna use my pen. Oops, don't, I forgot the uh, pen argument here. So I'm gonna go, oops, should be an update. That's why, that's why I didn't have it. Uh, this is what happens when you talk and type. It's like I said, I always tell people it's harder than it looks. So. My render method, not my update method. That was silly. So draw health meter. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pen. I'm gonna say pen .go to. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a new method for this. I'm gonna say def uh, render health meter. Let's, let's go ahead and do that, do it that way. Self comma pen. And so I'm going to say pen.go to, and it's going to be self.x, so that's the x coordinate of whatever object it is, minus 10, because remember it's, it's 10 wide, and then self.y plus 20. Okay, so it's going to be floating above the object. So basically what I'm doing is if the object is a square, I'm going to be going at the top left corner and up 10 pixels. I'm going to set my pen dot width to 3, and I'm going to put the pen down so that it will draw. Now again, this, this method will only be work consistent with the turtle module, and that's what this is designed to work with. If you were doing this in Pygame, you have to use a slightly different method, but the, the rest of the program would work the same. The rendering would be a little bit different. So I'm going to do pen dot set heading. And I want it to go from left to right, so I'm going to set the heading to zero. Now, let's go ahead and try this. So what I want to do, if my health divided by my max health is less than 0 0.3. So if I've got 30% left or less, I want my pen.color to be red. L if self dot health divided by self dot max health is less than 0 0.7 and you can change these numbers these are just what I chose pen dot color is yellow so as my health goes down I want it to change colors otherwise I'm gonna make it green okay so green means you're pretty healthy so now watch what I do here pen.fd 20 times, because it's going to be 20 wide altogether. 
self.health divided by self.maxhealth. So let's go ahead and try that, see if it works. Um, so render health meter. So what I'm going to do is in render, I'm going to do self.render health meter. And I got to do pen there. And then in my player, because it has a separate render method, I'm going to have to do self.render uh, health meter. And again, pass the pen as the argument. Let's go and see if that works. We have some problems with it, but yeah, we have some problems. Self, oh, self underscore max health is not defined. I wonder if anybody caught that while I was typing it. Um, 74 self dot max health. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, well, it kind of works. We got the lines there. Uh, we forgot to do pen up. So, <laughs> oops. Um, after this is done, we got to put pen dot pen up because it'll keep drawing if we don't have the pen up. Let's go ahead and run that again. Okay, so now we've got some health meters above each of these objects. Alrighty, which is kind of cool. Um, now what we got to deal with is what if, now this is a case it works if the health is 100%. Let's go ahead and change the health to, let's say 50 just to see what happens. Okay, so it still works. You know, we notice it's yellow now because we, we set it up to be yellow. Um, I don't really like that. I don't like the, the lack of balance. So what I did was after we draw the, the, the colored part of it, we're going to draw a little gray part of it. So I'm going to say, put that down a little bit. Oops. Say pen.color gray. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something similar here. I don't want to go as far across as I did, but if it's 50%, so what I'm going to do is self. Dot, and this actually took me a long time to figure out when I did this. Self. Dot max health. I don't know how I screwed up the math, but I screwed it up many, many times. So max health minus the current health divided by the max health. So for example, if I've got 50% health, so Max is 50, or max is 100 minus 50 over 100, that's 50%. If my health is 30, let's say my health is 30, it'll draw 30% across, and then 100 minus 30 is 7, 70, divided by 100 is 70%, and it'll draw the rest 70% in gray. So let's go ahead and run that. Oops, <laughs> something went wrong. Uh, Self.max health. This health dot health probably it's a one of these types of errors. I need to put that around there. Yeah, um, multiplication and division take precedence over subtraction, so I need to put an extra set of parentheses over that. So let's go ahead and try that again. And there you go. You can see each of the objects has fifty percent health. Now again, I mentioned I didn't want the power-ups to have health, but I guess we can address that some other time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up to 100 so that each of our objects starts out by default with 100. Oops, we got a little bit of extra gray there. Now why is that? Self health, max health, okay, and 20 times self health, so max health, 20 times Divided by 50. Hmm. It's kind of weird. 2020. 20, uh, section F5. Hmm. I wonder why there's a little, there's just a tiny little bit of extra gray there. And I'm not sure why it does that. But I'm going to have to leave that for now. I don't really have time to, to look into that one right now. But uh, it's basically the same code as I had previously. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. But. That's one of the things we're going to have to live with for now. Uh, so if anybody figures that one out, why don't you tell you, let's try this 19, see what happens. That's kind of weird. No, we still have it. Mm, 20. So max health minus self health divided by max health. So that should be zero. Why is that? Mm. 
five. Okay, hmm. That is a mystery. Let's put, I'm just kind of curious. Try this over, put this over. I bet, uh, let's see here. No, that's not it. Self health, yeah. 20 times, hmm. That is a weird one. But I'm not gonna waste your time trying to figure that one out. We'll have to live with that one for now. If it comes to me later, I'll, I'll pick it up. Okay, so there you have it. Health meters, um, pretty darn cool. The end.